was struck by something that the former president said. He said there's a gaping hole between productivity and the fact that it is not widely shared. Was that a hint of an indictment of the current administration's policies? Well, the statistics don't lie, and even President Obama would tell you that is still a problem. That has got a, there's a long-range trend there, but there are statistics, as this very proud former president points out, that um, suggest that he made some progress on that. The country made some progress on that during his time in office, but the long-term trend, including during the last six years of this president, have not been good on that point. And it's a it's a point that the, both Clintons have worked on from back in Arkansas. Yeah, he kind of buttoned that up by saying that she will be inclusive, Hillary Clinton, his wife, of course, if she becomes president on economics, on social policy, on the rest. Mark, what struck out to you when you were listening to the former president speak? What, what caught your attention? Well, you know, privately, he has been quite upset with the way the foundation's activities have been denounced. And while there are questions which he didn't address today about the activities of the foundation, there's no doubt that the Clinton's opponents, including some in the media, but a lot of people on the right, have gone too far in denouncing the activities of the foundation, in, in calling it a slush fund for them personally, in suggesting that all the money that comes into the foundation is there to benefit their political lives as opposed to helping people around the world. And I think today uh, he's had time to work through it uh, psychologically, emotionally. He gave a pretty reasoned and measured defense of how the foundation operates, although, again, did not address some of the specifics that still are, are out there as questions. But, Mark, they could not have been taken by surprise at this, at this attack on the foundation, on the attack on their works. We are, after all, talking about ramping up towards a presidential campaign season. This was bound to come up. Yeah. You know, the Clintons are very sophisticated about a lot of things. They've not always been that sophisticated about how the media works. Uh, and, and although they don't underestimate their opponents, I think they felt, and, and you saw that reflected in President Clinton's remarks today, that the foundation does so much good around the world that whatever things they did carelessly, whatever things that happened kind of on the sidelines of the relationships related to the foundation, that would all be trumped by the quality of the work that the foundation does, and, and they clearly underestimated that. Right, the perception seems to trump all that. He made a comment specifically about how they didn't know that Hillary Clinton was going to be running for office. That seemed a bit disingenuous. Everyone knew. That was the presumption. I'm not so sure she was dead set on running the whole time, so I don't. I take him at his word, and, and we've heard from others that the, the assumption that she's been running perpetually, I think you see uh, not just in the activities of the foundation, but some of the other choices they made as a couple, that she certainly was at least, I think, uh, not uh, certain, so certain she would run that she did everything you would would do if you wanted to minimize controversy as a candidate. Mark, the foundation, it seems to have taken this hit. It seems to have weathered this storm, of course, going forward if something were to come out. But it seems to have been able to withstand this. Is that something that is going to continue going forward? Will, as you just mentioned, the good works of the foundation trump all else? Well, I think it's not, unfortunately, for, for Secretary Clinton and her political aspirations, it's not going to be seen as this great thing she participated in in an unambiguous way. It's going to be considered a mixed bag. And I think you would have seen, if it hadn't been for this controversy, you would have seen Hillary Clinton talk a lot more on the campaign trail about the foundation activities. I don't suspect you'll see that. So the foundation will continue. President Clinton talked about that, uh, Chelsea's involvement there. It continues to do good work around the world. But it is, it is clear that some donors will be less likely to give some activities will have to be curtailed and and uh, if she's elected uh, they'll have to make a decision as he said about what they do with the overall foundation its activities its funding Mark, you and your co-anchor, John Heilman, have spoken to so many politicians as they're running for political office and after they were appointed to political office and were elected. We talked about how Jeb Bush did not seem to have a ready response to charges about his brother's administration and what he accomplished there. Does Bill Clinton seem to have an answer ready for every tough question? Is he that kind of politician? <laughs> Bill Clinton has an answer for everything, and sometimes he has multiple answers for everything. But he's, <laughs> he's a, he is a very skilled guy, uh, and you saw that on display in the interview there. In that conversation, uh, he gave answers that were calmed and reasoned and uh, compelling and convincing, in some cases incomplete. Mm. But Bill Clinton, as a great lawyer and as a brilliant guy, understands uh, when you ask a question, you give the best answer you can. And when you have the stage, you're in charge of your own facts, and you can bring them to bear however you wish. And again, I didn't hear him say anything that was sort of demonstrably false, but there were some things that were incomplete. And